Hi, John from FlyingMikeAlpha.com, and today we're going to go through how to perform slow flight, stalls, and steep turns in the Piper Cherokee. First, we're going to go ahead and clear the area, make sure there's no other aircraft around us. So we'll perform a 90 degree left turn and a 90 degree right turn back onto our normal heading. We're going to look around, we don't see anyone, we'll go to the left first. And back to the right. So we don't see any other aircraft around us. We're going to go ahead and do our maneuver no lower than 1,500 feet AGL since we're on a dual flight today, at least 2,000 feet AGL when you're solo. And we're going to go ahead and set up for slow flight right here at 1,500 feet. To set up for slow flight in this airplane, we're going to go ahead and reduce our power first, PPFF, power back to 1,700, pitching for about 80 miles per hour, holding our nose up as it wants to drop. We'll go ahead and set our flaps and turn on our fuel pump as if we're coming into land. Then as if we turned onto our base leg, we'd go ahead and go to 25 degrees of flaps here. And eventually we'll go all the way to full flaps. So now we're at full flaps, we're pulling back and we're using our yoke here, our pitch for airspeed and power for altitude. We'll fly the airplane right about 55 miles an hour, right above stall speed. We'll see our stall warning coming on, letting us know we're getting slow. We're using considerable, considerable amounts of right rudder to compensate for all that P factor. And if we notice that we're descending at all, we'll add a little power in. If we're climbing, we'll go ahead and reduce power a little bit. If I want to go ahead and climb here to 1600 feet, I'll just add full power, continue to keep my nose up to keep myself back around 55, and we can notice the aircraft's climbing. If I got slow, I could release some back pressure, lower the nose, and we'll notice our airspeed increases. And if I get too fast, I'll just pull my nose back up. As we get up to 1600 feet there, I'll go ahead and reduce my power so we stop climbing. And if I want to go ahead and make a turn here, say I'll make a right turn to a 210 heading, I'm going to use a lot of right rudder, a lot of right aileron, but really only 10 degrees of bank maximum, a small amount of bank, so that we don't turn too sharply and lose vertical lift and make us descend. So we'll just bank the aircraft slightly, 10 degrees or so. It's going to use a little bit more aileron than normal and a little bit more rudder than normal since you're so slow the flight controls are not very effective. And we're making a shallow bank, turning at a good rate, over to a 210 heading. And once I get there, I can go ahead and level my wings. You can see we're a little high above 1,600, so I'll reduce our power so we can descend back down. We just kind of mush through the air. And then to go ahead and recover from this maneuver, we would simply, just as if we were doing a go around from a batch, uh, from a botch landing approach, we would just apply full power, get rid of 45 flaps right away, lower the nose start accelerating to VX, not giving up any altitude, but getting a little bit of airspeed going for us. Once we have VX there, we're going to start a positive rate of climb. There's our positive rate of climb, and we're going to go ahead and go down to 25 degrees, from 25 down to 10 degrees of flaps. And then once we hit our VY, 85, and we have a positive rate of climb, we can go ahead and get rid of all of our flaps, and making sure that we're at least 200 feet AGL. And as we recover from this, we'll go ahead and turn our fuel pump off and resume normal cruise flight. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions at all, just leave them in the comments below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Make sure you give us a thumbs up on our video and you can subscribe to us to follow all our latest episodes over here on the right. Also, go ahead and check out some of these videos down below. And remember, if you can't fly every day, then fly at MikeAlpha.com. We'll see you all next time.